Hi hey guys, Alexi from Easy of Solutions again. Uh, here's another series of uh, FAQs that we've uh, recently received. Let's go through uh, some of them. Um, okay, digital marketing uh, for tradies. Well, uh, digital marketing can really work for any business. Uh, with tradies, I particularly find that any trades business, in order to get into it and uh, you know have a business to start with, you've got to be good at what you do. So the sales process actually becomes a lot more intuitive. Now, with digital marketing, we find the best campaigns are the ones that are well connected with the uh, actual sales process. And what I mean by that is going through points of difference. So uh, how long has the business uh, been running for? Uh, you know, what's different about you, your guarantees, your insurances, your turnaround time? Now, one big thing specifically for traders is advertising the fact that you guys clean after yourself. That's a really, really big one. I have seen so many negative reviews for trades businesses where people talk about the fact that uh, the premises were left, um, you know, with uh, scrapes of metal after someone did a roof or a fence. And yeah, you just don't want that. Now, why digital marketing works really good for trades is specifically with the ROI tracking. So if you understand that a phone call is costing you so much and that derives from a number of clicks coming to your website and the layout is optimized specifically for that, that would work. So if you're promising, let's say, a free on-site consultation uh, within 24 hours and your ad really stands out, uh, you're going to get a lot more inquiries coming through. Now, every case is different and it all really depends on what your competitors are doing, but I would strongly recommend uh, looking into digital marketing to promote your business. Now, digital marketing advertising can vary quite a fair bit. Uh, you've got social media marketing, you've got Google marketing, and there's many different channels um, and networks that they use. Now, uh, when people search in Google, that's called Google search or search channel, if you like. This is uh, in the marketing uh, uh, sense what's considered a um, consideration phase. So if you look at the marketing funnel, it's right in the middle. People already know what they're looking for and then they basically type in, they query and they look for a particular, provi particular provider to, to choose from. So it's halfway um, through the overall uh, marketing funnel. Now, if you look at social media and if you serve the same message out to people who have never heard of you, uh, you're not very likely to get a lot of inquiries. You may, but most of the time people will look at your ads and potentially not proceed. The reason being is uh, marketing is all about know, like, and trust. If they know who you are, if they like you, if they trust you, they'll inquire. If you're completely new, um, you are still fishing at a top education uh, level. And the marketing funnel is really all about education, consideration, and then conversion and loyalty afterwards as well. So Google typically works much better in search. Having said that, that usually works quite well for businesses that are easy to understand and uh, the B2C market. If you're in the B2B, that's a different conversation altogether and you need to exercise the entire marketing funnel. Now, having said all that, uh, the education uh, stage or the social media side of things can work in many different ways. The whole idea really is to qualify customers before they enter your sales or marketing pipeline. So if that makes sense, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. If not, uh, please free to reach out. Uh, feel free to reach out. I'd love to have a chat with you. But uh, digital marketing is particularly powerful for the trades businesses. And most importantly, you know exactly what it gets you for the dollars spent. Alexi from Eurizio Web Solutions, uh, feel free to comment or uh, send me an email if you want to ask a question.